Well, hello everyone, and here I'm with another LEGO Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker set review. And this one is on the Kylo Ren's shuttle, uh, which is the second biggest one of the line. So on the front of the box here, you see LEGO LEGO Star Wars on them, the new uh, fall border of which. And then Disney logo in that corner, and all the mini things included there. And aid recommendation 10 and up, set number 75256. It has 1,005 pieces, and about the same as the 2015 version, but we'll go over that later. And on the back, see the rest position, the features of it, and... And now, onto the booklet. On the front of the booklet. Uh, kind of like the Y-Wing set did, where... It's vertical style, kind of interesting, and but it's the thick book style, like the ideas line and everything. But same picture is on the front and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, of which is three pages, and then add for all the fall sets. And a little interesting thing with this one is, as you can see, it's cuts off a little bit of it, whereas unlike with the cover of it, it's full picture, but in this one, it's cut off, probably because of the box cover, well, because of the box cover that had that, and kind of weird, but whatever, and then all the minifigs include with each fall set, and after Lego lights, and the last steps. Okay. For the minifigs, first of all, first of which is Kylo Ren, with the new updated version, but that they're calling Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Well, probably called that after he killed Snoke in The Last Jedi, that is. But as for the torso print of which, about this kind of similar to that of the version that was included in the uh, Kylo Ren TIE Fighter set two years ago. and. But besides that, the helmet piece of which, or mask helmet of which, about the same as it's been since 2015, but this time around has red lines in it, which, of course, is the big change for him for this new film. And the cape of which is just the same old thick material rather than the soft cloth material, but that is... It has double side face, about the same as from the uh, Duelon Star Killer base set from earlier this year. And another look at the helmet, of which has the red lines in it, which a few other things also well are. But at least a good way to differentiate it for this new movie. And let's see. Next up is. This next guy, uh, General Pride, yeah. Which looking kind of similar to Tarkin from the original trilogy. See, like with Mr. Incredible's hairpiece, but in uh, odd gray, and the rest in the all molded in gunmetal gray. Then also has some nice printing on the front and a little blaster to there. And there he is from the back. And, and also his double side face, of course. And next up is the First Order Stormtrooper, of which same it's been since 2015. Same back print, torso print, helmet print, piece, everything the same. And also annoying angry clone face. But at least good for army building. And next up is a Sith Trooper. Or the highly claimed Sith Trooper. And for the time being, this is the only way you could get it. And also the only other way to get the Sith Trooper is as a Brickhead set, which I have also reviewed. And 
the Blaster, which is the same as from the uh, Dino Jurassic World lines, but with a red lightsaber hilt on it as a scope. Kind of interesting. Although this, oh, which kind of looks similar to a character one so many things in the Resistance sets line. But, and there is his back torso ring. Alright, okay, there we go. So there's his back torso print and front print, which is kind of similar to most of the other store troopers and all. But the helmet print of which also done quite the same. Underneath it, the clone face, annoying angry clone face. And also, I hope this uh, one comes available in a battle pack or something next year. If anyone knows if it is going to, well, tell in the comments. And next up is actually one of a pair of minifigs, the Knights of Ren. And for the time being, this these are the only two you can get, and also the only way to get them. Although these were shown briefly in just for a minute in Episode Seven, The Force Awakens, just during the flashback scene that Rey has when she grabs the lightsaber hilt. But as for this one, as you can Is that the helmet piece, or the hood piece of which also the same in the Death Star Cannon set, but it's in black. Although, this has this long weapon, where it's a couple of bars and a large axe on it, kind of interesting. Anyway, so there we go. So, hood piece, also the same as the Obi-Wan's in the Death Star Cannon set. But his torso print quite interesting and with it off and has interesting face print to which I'm not sure what's going on there. And if you look at me. And there's his back torso print, not much to look at there. And that is about it with this Knight of Ren and to this second Knight of Ren. So his torso print, which done quite interesting and done kind of cool, but the helmet piece, of which kind of cool, and so underneath is plain black, but kind of works with the mask of which, just like he did seen in the solo line, and same with all the clone troopers and all in the two thousand four and five lines or five and six lines, and there he is from the back. But also the highlight is the odd, interesting weapon, but not sure what kind of weapon it's supposed to be. Like a mace or something? But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, there we go. Although this back print, which kind of reminiscent of the other Forest Door Stormtroopers, is in, yeah. And that is about it with all the mini things with this set. And now, on to the main part of the set. So. Of which being Kylo Ren's shuttle itself. Of which, a uh, really pretty cool of one. But also, of which which we'll go over later, much better than the 2015 one. So for the front part of which, which has a, a trans red uh, a window to it, just like the Kylo Ren TIE Fighter set did. And then, as for the upper roof area, which has some good greebling details like those little uh, handle things there, and also a car grill area, also acting as a greeble, and the uh, ice skate pieces also acting as greebles as well. But also what this thing, this little area could do is 
you can flip it right open and got enough got three seats to sit three figs into it and some of those control panel pieces that have been showing up in a lot of sets lately. And, and yes, there's a control panel in the front area. And a couple of clips to sorry your uh, missiles onto or other weapons if you'd like. As for on the back of which, you get a couple of engines, but one turns, which is for the main feature. And the couple of things underneath the which is for these Primer launchers, which do fire out like so. Oops, whatever. But oh, also some odd sloping around, probably acting as more detail or something. And also you get this little crate that you can easily pop off and probably store extra studs in or something. But we're at the end for the guns, oh, which does have the lightsaber hilts and everything. Oh, which, oh, whoops. Also a bit different than the 2015 version. Of which is a good plus. So now on to the main feature of this set is when you pull it, lift it up, and the, the wings spread out. But although once you turn these, they fold out. You also have to lock into place. Or no, no, you have to do that first, and then the gravity makes them fold out. Good. Oh, which great news. And as for that engine from earlier, you can like turn that and it folds them in. Of which great job, Lego. So at least they this time they did get it right. Which they oftentimes barely ever get with remakes. So for a little brief comparison. Of which is with this 2015 version of Kylo Ren shuttle. You see, has kind of been of all the same builds, but however, it's in dark gray and light gray. But this is all black with some bit of light gray in it. And of course, the wings of which do have some similar builds to them, but built kind of similarly, where and they do fold up like that. But you can access the spring little launchers through, uh, through a little hole in it, whereas you have to tap something on the back of it. As for the back part of which, engines are quite the same, but this one of which is still still, but the new one, one does turn. But although with the 2015 version, can like flip this one up as well, and there's kind of the same stuff, but the back part of which also folds open, and there's some more stuff, but only one area to this one, but had to sacrifice it for the mechanisms, and of course the big flaw with it is the wings don't fold out, which is a key thing, but the new version of which the wings do, and the tips of the wings, of which are quite similar to each other. And also the this one used red pins in there, but the other used black pins, which helps it blend in a little more. And besides that, shaping all quite the same. And the other version did have does have these little flaps that hold up that. But they are kind of flimsy to stand up on. But also, this did have a boarding ramp to it, which it does in the Force Awakens. Although you can kind of do so with this new one, but actually uh, not at all. So that's kind of a flaw, but whatever. And 
And so now, on to the final work. Oh wait, hang on. Should do this to finish off the video. Let me get all the pigs on to here. Oh wait, hang on. So overall verdict on this set as well. This I think a pretty cool set of which at least truly worth an upgrade from the 2015 version, but also the only way to get updated Kylo Ren. And well, back in 2015, it, that old version was the only way to get Kylo Ren. And this one also to get the new updated version of Kylo Ren, but kind of interesting. But although this which well improves over it with the key feature of it and a little bit more. Although it could have had the boring wrap, which it does in The Force Awakens, but whatever. And also the only way to get the Sith Trooper and two of the Knights of Ren, but hopefully they pop up in uh, cheaper sets next year or so. But yeah. And if you have a whole ton of money to get this set, then definitely go ahead and get it. And if you're looking to continue your collection of the Last Jedi sets, then or Rise of Skywalker sets, then also go ahead and get it. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.